Hi, I'm Jaron Hermanson, and I want to find out what it's like to express emotion through painting. So after um, doing a, some research, going to a few museums and online, I found a artist that I really connected with. I really would like to attempt to paint like he does um, and hopefully be able to express some emotions like him. Um, his name is Franz Klein. He was born in May of 1910 and he died May 1962. Um, he was an abstract expressionist. He, he lived in New York and worked. He worked out of New York, I guess. Um, he's known for his black and white paintings. His famous one is painting number two. Um, a lot of his stuff is inspired by architecture, and a lot of people relate his stuff to Japanese calligraphy. Paintbrushes and Klein uses oil based paints, but for the sake of money and time, because oil takes forever to dry, years even, um, I'm going with acrylic. So we have black and white and cream. The way Klein paints, he starts with a blank canvas and uh, layers on top of it, just layers and layers of paint. Um, so I started with a, with a white canvas and layered it with white paint and then I layered cream paint on top of that. I let that dry for a couple hours and I came back to it and uh, I layered another layer of white and gray over that before I started adding the black geometric shapes and lines that he uses so much. So the reason why I feel so connected with him um, is I went to LA recently uh, competing in a competition for lighting designers, well, theater students in general. Um, I thought I had this competition in the bag. It was mine. I owned it. Um, but turns out I didn't go on and I thought that I was going to win this for sure. So when I didn't go on, I was pretty devastated. I didn't talk to the other students very much that day. And uh, we went to the MoCA, which is a museum in LA. And uh, for the first time I saw Klein's work and I was really, really impressed with it. The, specifically his painting, The Tower. Um, as I stood there and looked at it, I felt all the emotions and everything that I had had that week just kind of come to a head and kind of set me on a direction that I wanted to be versus where I was. So I connected with Klein's work in that moment and from since then I've loved his stuff and felt very compelled to paint like him and actually this project started out with one painting and by the end of it I had painted four paintings. Um, it gave me this release of emotion that I didn't know I existed. I had no idea. Um, so.
So in the end, this project is one of my favorite things I've ever done, and I will continue to paint. Thank you.